twin disciplines and stuff like that. Like they could easily save Zoe the next round as well. Alright, got a bunch of three threes. It's not bad. We're basically Thresh Nasus. <laughs> right? Tagging with a ton of three threes. And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zoe auction. It's been a long time since we played an auction deck. I'm excited to try another one out. We're going to be combining auction with a one mana champion with Zoe. But they're both going to be good champions to play immediately and attack with and everything like that. Um, trying them out together with Targon, we have Mountain Goat that can create the gems. And the gems will be easier ways to um, you know, level up auction and, and things like that. We'll have Hourglass for protection. We'll also have Pale Cascade, Shapestone. Those are going to be some good target spells for auction. Zoe is going to be creating some super cool star charts. It can create the two mana, give something plus zero, plus two in spell shield. That could be kind of nice on, on our champions. But overall, our curve is really low, and that's going to be good for Zoe for leveling up Zoe. You know, like if it's with a low curve... Maybe we can play a bunch of different cards and, you know, level up a Zoe. And then once we have our leveled up Zoe, then, you know, we have like a Ruin Runner, give everything Spell Shield and Overwhelm and things like that. Of course, we'll have our Vagabonds to go along with the auction. We'll have Merciless Hunter because that card's amazing. Um, but we're also going to be playing Chip. Chip's a good, cheap card. Um, we, we will have a lot of landmarks. It'll be pretty easy to make this a 1-mana 3-3. And I think that's going to be valuable to have, 1-mana 3-3. And then we'll have some, a couple invoke cards at the top end to go along with Zoe. We'll have a couple star shaping. We got a Solari Priestess. So a few ways to invoke and get some bigger units. Astral Protection could be a great protection spell. And Hush. And that's the deck. So here we go. Zoe Auction. We'll go play five games in rank. Okay. Teemo Zed. Kind of a similar type of deck, right? Like we both have one mana elusive champion. We both have... Cheap quick attack champion after that. That card's too expensive. I think I'll send the Pill Cascade back as well. I guess we do need a landmark for these cards. That shouldn't be that difficult to find a landmark. We have Vagabond. I'm not sure if I make this trade. I do. Can spoil the surprise? I could see them just having like a mystic shot shooting Zoe and then it then then it's like, well now how do I deal with this Teemo? Hey Krabby! That's my resting face. They'll never see us coming. No, I'm a Win, I'm ahead. Yeah, I could save Zoe the next round, but they could also have like twin disciplines and stuff like that. Like they could easily save Zoe the next round as well. Alright, got a bunch of three threes. It's not bad. We're basically Thresh Nasus. <laughs> right? Tagging with a ton of three threes. Early on. Eyes open. Watch for Rancid. Let's go. This one's trouble. Looking for this. I'll take care of this. Okay, I want to save the goat, but I don't really want to use my shapestone. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and stick to the destroyer. And pill cascade. I want to save my shapestone. All right. So they discarded Silent Shadow Seer. Interesting. Interesting. I 
My plan is block Hourglass, bring this back, so that's gonna count as one target, and then whenever the Vagabond comes back, we uh, do the two. Again, I mean, why am I... This is a waste. No, it's not a waste, alright. So, advance the Warlord's Palace, another two. Maybe that was a waste. Maybe we need to save that for the destroyer. Everything's better with company. Says you. Okay, so I'd want to get the plus three plus one card with this, but maybe I just do the give them all plus one plus one. Hmm. Maybe just get a sandstone charger. I guess I could just get a sandstone charger. That'd be a 5-2 attacker. Another day in the field. So basically have to like block, block, block all three of those. Take seven, go to one. That gets rid of all these elusives that are all super scary. If I must. Man, that's zero mana to get a 5 2 ephemeral attacker. That's not bad. So, hopefully, they can't kill us this round now with us taking out all those elusives. Pledge yourself to the shadows. But I guess it's still possible. Especially if they have ghost. My life for the order. Okay, I'm casting Sunburst. What are we casting Sunburst on? I guess it's gotta be the monk. I don't know. Kinda wanna cast it on Zed. I think it's I can block Zed though. So we can still lose. Okay, they they had you know twin disciplines, plus twin disciplines, six damage. You cannot run from. So we win this by just attacking, but Good people, don't look there's not like I don't think there's any downside to just. Um, going wide, because right, like if we go wide, then they have to like stop us from going wide, but then they also have to stop the spell shield overwhelm. And I don't think they can stop both, but it's theoretically possible for them to stop the spell shield overwhelm. And just because they were saying the GG emote, you know, you can't trust it all the time, right? Because some someone may say that, and uh, when they have an answer. All right, misfortune and gang. We're gonna need to play some early defense. And stay alive. I think I'm gonna send all of those back. Try to find some units that can play some defense. There we go, Rock Hoppa. Alright, so we'll have Zoe, Rock Hopper, Hunter for our first three rounds. Alright, no parlay. <laughs> Or we could play Vagabond. Over Hunter. We'll block the 3 2 because Vagabond can block the 2 1. We 
not taking it. We're taking it back. Gas Canyon. I've something oh, special. that's not good. If they have Mega Rain, that is bad. We love it when they run. Hopefully, no Mega Rain. Hopefully, they're just playing that to attack. No, they had Mega Rain. Oh, and they hit all three units. Gross. A shape stone really helps right here. Victory at any cost. Quit struggling. Ouch. Okay, that gives me something that can challenge this Crackshot Corsair. Must be nice living off stolen coin. So star shaping is basically just anti-decimate. Uh, five mana. Ooh. Take everything. So even though we took four damage, uh, we kind of got that card for free. It found you. Fresh out of mercy. Let me trade with Misfortune. They passed. I waste six mana. Or sorry, th sorry, three mana. Not a chance. All right, where are we at? We're at round six right now. Next round, round seven. It is the Living Legends. Maybe find a life steal thing with that. Love you. We'll draw two extra cards this next round, thanks to the Preservarium. For us finding just more units. That's not a unit. That's not a unit. Why could I have you last round, Ruin Runner? I, rarely I did a great job of never. waiting around in order to play that, so I didn't get to. Yeah, I wanted to. I wanted them to play Gangplank, then I sunburst it last round. It's obviously looking very bad for me. I'll shoot the wings off a of Biltwas. Okay, so that's two, four. All right, so any, any spell kills me. Any spell kills me. It's Mega Rain doesn't kill me, but Fervor does may kill me. If I okay, so they have it. Because if I just go for the star shaping, Fervor does may still kill me anyway. Close, close game. We almost stabilized. Okay, I'm interested in playing this matchup again and seeing how it pans out a second time. We saw these shape stones not really do anything last time, so let's kind of trim that back a little bit. I 
for chances here, though. Very glad we got this Rune Runner. Yes, and the auction. We have a much better hand than last time. Yeah, it looks like our opponent has a worse hand than last time. People, don't look the other way. There's plenty of oh, that's... Okay. The dead don't need riches. That was good. I, of course, played the auction here because I wanted to get this Warlord's Palace started. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. If I attack, I allow them to play Misfortune. I don't... I'm not wasting any of the mana if I don't attack. Like they'll be able to keep all their mana. I think it's... I guess we attack, but now we're going to let them be able to play Misfortune. Kind of hoping to find like double stun, maybe. Double, double, double. Didn't know the boss is sent for you. Don't know much, do ya? Time to get rich. Move. Hug it out. Oh, that thing does two to all the bat. Oh my gosh. That's embarrassing. Oh sure, take your time. I love to be kept waiting. That's really embarrassing. Obviously I need to put the that on something else. Is that hush available. I'm just yeah, just didn't need to play that. It could have just hushed the misfortune. What a Horrendous turn for me. No, I'm a feet. Win, I'm ahead. Shift time. A bug go. Horrendous turn for me. I think the biggest thing that I regret is the attack on round three that allowed them to play Misfortune and allowed them to double spell with these on the round four for that attack on round four. That was just such a bad turn that if I if I don't make that attack at all, um, yeah, if I just don't make that attack on round round three that we talked about, then they don't get to play the Misfortune, then they don't get to do all that. I think we're in a much better spot. So we know they either have Mega Rain or Fervor, depending on which one they drew. Okay, well, the game's over then. Yep, round three was where I really messed this up. Cool, I bet. You like it? Talk is worthless. We are what we do. really help find us keepers 
That is really too bad. Which is not a way for me to have lethal this round. Routes closed. You got legs. Use them. GG's. Man, I'm so disappointed for how I played that game. I really should have passed that round three. Lessons learned, though. No to do that next time. You know, like maybe that, maybe that five four life steal daybreak card would help out, but could also just get noxion fervored, though. This is probably a better shape stone matchup because this is going to be one where they'll have a little bit more removal. But not like a ton of removal. I'm still going to send it back. Alright, I'm holding on to Chip. I don't want Chip to get make it rained. Shapestone helped out. Got us a gem. Time for the main event. So I think they only have one Draven. Three Twisted Fate, two Swain, one Draven. Taking the damage. <laughs> oh, never mind. All right, well. So obviously that plus either make it rain or even worse, twisted fate red card, which is why I can't. Let's do this. Uh, twisted fate red card is why I can't play anything else right now. I'm going to be triple spelling with the 3 3, the Mountain Goat, the Merciless Hunter. I guess I'm making the Draven vulnerable? Who am I making vulnerable? It's the Twisted Fate. Saving these gems for the Rune Runner. Don't let my size fool you. Assuming they're not going to use these spinning axes. No, because it's to kill, to, to kill chips. So I wouldn't think that they would want to kill chip. That's rude. So they just traded their Parlay and Riptide Rex to kill a goat. I think that's a good trade for me. I always catch my prey. Son of a... 
Hmm. Two mana left. Seen tombs, towns, and everything in between. Heads will roll. Who's fallen for blood? Got axes, need no escape. Brave and dumb. Alright, we're going to be making a large Ruin Runner. Attack them with that, probably with an open attack. Go ahead and take this draw. Rock Hopper. Okay, cool. That'll do. We shall take it. Twisted Fate Swain. No Dravens this time. Just normal removal, powder kegs, all that kind of stuff. So I'll send the chips back. Because if we don't have a landmark, the 1-1s one are going to really get eaten up. I think my opponent could have been more patient in the last game on that Twisted Fate red card. I think they could have. Maybe they couldn't, but... Yeah, auction Tarek. Yeah, we're, we'll we'll go back and play that auction Tarek here pretty soon. Um, yeah, looking forward to that one. We got a good amount of auction decks to be playing coming up with the uh, donation decks. We have an auction abyss deck on Thursday. Howling abyss auction deck. Alright, so we're gonna do that to, to enable Pill Cascade if they have Mega Rain. If they go like Death's Hand, I can go Hourglass. Okay. They let it happen, so I just have one man super cool star chart now. And that's fine with me too. Yuppie! I talk to spirits! These are my rules! Alright, 16. Mm. Not exactly what I wanted. I was, I was hoping for the, the space dog. Give me a, some card draw. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. And that is why I didn't play the serpent. Right the way. Danger noodle. You're a five out of ten. I gotta be worried about uh, ravenous flock, of course. If I play either of these things, I think I just wait around. Scores to settle, crooks to kill. You know how it is. Fear the power you do not seek. Gonna find a gift for an acting, right, Arda? All right, cool, cool. Have to sit back and block the Swain with a Merciless Hunter, which isn't ideal. Ooh. So this is only silence it for a round. It's not permanent silence. In the case of... Oh, man. Okay, so let's see. This needs... So 
sorry. Um, I was gonna say, in the case of uh, Leviathan. That's still gonna level up Swain. So if I do this, it still levels up Swain, right? Yeah. Where's Zoe at? Zoe's at eight? I should probably save Zoe if Zoe's at eight. Yeah, they have a leveled up Swain, but. Merely pawns in a greater game. Victory awaits! Out here, you're moving, or you're dead. Why don't why don't I wait on that card for after we level up Zoe? Probably should. Darn. I was I was hoping to scare them from attacking though. That's a, that was kind of my plan. I scare them a little bit. There is still time to surrender. Just say, oh please don't kill me, Akshan. <laughs> I don't think I've heard that line before. Looks like trouble. Whoa. That does look like trouble. Brave and dumb. I do kind of want to trade auction in the 2-2 two -two so that then Merciless. So they don't have that thing to block my Ruin Runner. Yeah, this thing just dies so easily, one health. Especially if they're having. If they're letting their Twisted Fate die like that. That kind of means maybe another Twisted Fate in hand. Are you at 9 now? You're at 8 still. So Vagabond's 9. The thing is, Hunter won't be Hunter won't be ten. Like we'd have to waste Hush to level up Zoe. Greed will turn any man into a monster. I guess I can do. I guess I can throw Hush away. Both of them Swain's ravenous flocks. That old trick again. I want to just play the hunter. Oh, I can't. Robin blind. Okay. Let's go ahead and hush our own three three so that we create this thing, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Draw. Having the shape stone to protect Zoe. Okay, I was thinking like death. They could have another death's hand, where I, I wanted to strike because behold the infinite. Be nothing left when I'm done. Equinox for that powder keg would not have been bad. I would have definitely taken Equinox for the powder keg. That would have been an option. Got a surprise for him. Witness strength. Scum. If anything that kills this Zoe, it probably gonna kill it anyway. Like if they had like Mega Rain, like they would have just played Mega Rain before attacking, right? Busted. You would think. All right, is it double shape stone? Double shape stone, go for lethal. 
Let's do it. They just need a three damage spell, remember, because of the powder keg. Uh oh. They're looking for one. They need like a fervor. I guess I enabled Whirling Death by this attack, but I don't expect them to have Whirling Death in their deck. But if they did, that would be pretty clutch. They had a fervor. Victory at any cost. Okay. We shall play on. We can use Zoe to give things elusive. Oh man, this isn't going to silence anymore. I guess that's... this is a bad plan, isn't it? Yep, bad plan. Should've just, should've just started with the Sunburst and put it down to one. And then it doesn't have the Fearsome anymore. <laughs> They've had a lot of swains. I think that's their fifth swain or sixth swain. I don't change faith, but I can see it. That is not good. Ah, uh, so went for something good. Something else to give elusive. Deal me in. All the glitters. Alright, we get him. Alright, we gotta behold the infinite. Let's invoke. Sisters, Golden Sisters. Oh man, but the Traveler gives me another invoke. We gotta take Golden Sisters, right? Yeah, we gotta take Golden Sisters. Ooh, man, this is close. All right, so just regular old three-three chip. What do they got? Oh, that doesn't look good. No. Okay, 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 not too bad. We can take that, but <laughs> we're looking at putting them down to one with an open attack. I should be open attacking. Man, how many flocks has my, my opponent played? Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, just five? It's felt like more than that. I guess just five. Alright, five flocks. We should have this from here. I can't really imagine we don't. So saving Falling Comet for uh, Leviathan. Guiding, my brethren. Let's take another champion. Should be auction. is worthless. 
All right, we got leveled up auction. And now we got this palace going down. Or is this, is this the palace or the horde? Okay, the horde is counting down. Gave everything quick attack. And GG's. Three and two. We'll take the winning record. And we ended up three and two with Zoe Auction. We did lose to the Misfortune Gangplank deck a couple of times. They were just a little too aggressive for us. We were close to stabilizing both games. Uh, of course, that second game, I could have played it a little differently to not get as blown out by Misfortune as I did. But alas, we'll uh, still take a winning record and winning, you know, winning record against everything else. Uh, we did talk about how if you do end up being a little too weak to aggro, there are some, some options you can do. With the Fangs being just a 2-2 now, I'd probably recommend playing Sunforger over the Fangs if you want like just an, an extra lifesteal body. Having all these like pump spells and stuff could be kind of nice for um, a lifesteal body as well. But yeah, it worked out pretty good. Worked out pretty good. All right, so that's going to be it here, though, for Zoe Auction. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of a new Zoe deck. It's been a while since we played Zoe. Got any ideas for the deck, feel free to put them in there. Or if you try it out yourself, let me know how it's going for you and how you're enjoying it. But that's going to be it here for this one. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.